Good evening, we are on OSX for the APK tool installation and usage tutorial. This is a very brief or abridged version of this tutorial, but it will be helpful if you've never used APK tool before. So launch your browser of choice, type APK tool into the search, click the downloads link, and you're going to have to download two files, the install Mac OS X and the APK tool 1.5 to tar. So after you've done so, simply navigate to your downloads tab and you should see APK tool, this file right here, and the, um, and the install over here. Expand both of them. You're gonna get these two files in this first folder and then you're going to get the apk tool.jar in the other. With those three with those um, three files that you expanded, you're going to want to move them to a single folder that you are using. I've done so and moved it to my desktop and apk tool. As you see, there's these two files right here and then the jar is there as well. You will not have these additional two files unless you pull them from your um, from your mobile device of choice or simply download them from the internet. So with that, we are good to go. We are going to want to launch a terminal. So we can just simply type new window and then we are going to want to navigate to this folder. So CD, desktop, apk tool, ls, you should see these files right here. Now, systemui.apk is basically the what you view on your screen of your tablet or phone. It's very essential to the phone's processes and if you remove it, for example, you will not have um, a screen that works. It will just force quit everything. Framework.res.apk is equally essential and you can find them in the slash system slash app and slash system slash framework respectively of your mobile device. But that's not really important for this tutorial since if you view if you viewed the viewed the AP ADB installation tutorial, you should be good to go with that. So let's start this actual tutorial. If we want to decompile a system UI dot, dot APK for example, we can do dot slash APK tool D for debug or decode and then you can type um, whatever the file name you're decompiling so system ui.apk press enter and if you notice something you're going to get all these additional lines it doesn't necessarily mean the process has failed as the file has expanded here but it's not always good so you, if you want to actually do this the correct way, you want to first install the framework-res because you'll use some additional files that are contained in that to better aid in the decompilization. So to do that, you do apk tool, my apologies, dot slash apk tool, if for install framework, framework-res.apk. Install that. If you notice, it says framework installed to slash users the apparent library apk tool framework 1.apk. Great. With that, we can try to re decompile this, but with the dash f tag to force this to delete this folder and recreate one. But you, if you just delete it yourself, you don't have to do that. But as you'll notice, we run this again. You'll notice that you don't get all of these nasty little errors from above. But either way, you're good to go. So we can look inside this folder, see all the files that are here. If we want to, for example, change some layouts or such, or we want to change some how files look, we can go into that. Drawable HDPI is how like the battery icons, for example. I've messed with that before. But yeah, I digress. That's how you that's how you basically decompile. If you want to recompile it or rebuild it, it's very, very simple as well. You can do APK tool, build, and then the folder that we have. And we're gonna send it to chicken.apk. And likewise, if you wanted to change the folder that you decompiled to before, you can simply specify this after the dash D command, but we're building right now, so let's do it. Again, I failed to type 
dot slash since I'm used to having it in my system path on Linux, but that will be explained if you happen to use Linux. Now, if we type ls again, we should have a chicken.apk, which should be the exact mirror of systemui.apk. But it, since it's not named systemui.apk, if you try to push it back in the same location, it won't actually do anything unless you delete the other one, in which case your system will crash. And on that pleasant note, um, thank you for watching and have a nice day.